I, Negro the Legend, am upset. Yes, that's right. It's one of these videos where I just sit here and just bitch, piss, and moan about such a travesty that has happened as of March 11th, 2020. Chrono Trigger, one of the greatest RPGs and greatest, greatest games of all time. You can fight me on that. I dare you to fight me. Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, turned 25 yesterday, the 25th anniversary, the birthday of, of an old and long forgotten franchise left in the wake of memory, distant memory, and nostalgia. Why does this upset me? Well, it's probably because this is a franchise that never ever got past two generations of consoles. This is a franchise that still stands the test of time. Now, maybe franchise isn't the right definition. I don't know what the definition truly is for a franchise. Is it multiple games? Is it one game? Is it just a company having rights to a license? I'm not entirely sure. I should probably look that up sometime. But nonetheless, it still bothers me that Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross are the only games in the Chrono series. There we go. Series is a good one. We'll go with that one. And that's it. So, let's get down to the nitty gritty and then we'll go from there. As of March 11th, 2020, Chrono Trigger turns 25. And you know what? Uh, I myself go on Twitter quite a bit because there's a lot of cool uh, nerd fandom on there. A lot of cool posts, news articles, and just all things gaming, you know, etc. I find out some pretty interesting things and I get to see what journalists and news and what people are saying and how they're feeling about certain topics and stuff. You know, it keeps, keeps uh, being topical and relevant in my life. And I saw things, some posts that people I follow celebrating the 25th birthday of Chrono Trigger. And it was really cool. Some people did concept art, others did articles. Uh, journal, you know, journals, or not journals, but art, journalists did articles, uh, blogs, you know, they or probably even vlogs itself, or people streamed for the game or played the game on its birthday, you know, just some kind of celebration. You know, the fans, the people who fell in love with this iconic game, Chrono Trigger itself, and the Chrono franchise, or series as a whole. And you know, I was curious, I was curious, and my golly Miss Molly, did I feel ashamed and upset about visiting the father, the head honcho, the one that runs the show, Square Enix, hoping to find something, something about them talking about how Chrono Trigger turns 25, 25th birthday, the anniversary of one of the greatest RPGs of all time, and if not one of the greatest games ever made. Trust me, look up any top, you know, an easy one is a top 100. You'll always see in the top 100. Shit, you'll see it on a top 50, no problem. I bet you anything you'll see in the top 20. You know what? Let's go even for top 10. I bet you anything Chrono Trigger will make it on there in the top 10. If not, at least, undoubtedly, the top 20. And uh, I hope you prove me wrong. If you do, let me know. So, I go on Square Enix's page, and what do I find? Absolutely nothing in regards of a classic masterpiece of a game being talked about by the company itself. Now, I, I know Squaresoft wasn't Square Enix at this point, but Square Enix has complete control over Chrono Trigger. For anything that Squaresoft made originally, Square Enix has rights and license to. Now, if they don't have license to Chrono Trigger anymore, or the Chrono series or franchise, whatever, I would like to know about that too. Because that'd be pretty interesting, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty pretty sure they do. So they don't talk about anything. They don't celebrate. They don't mention anything about Chrono Trigger turning 25. Why? That is the question, right? Why? And that upsets me. That upsets me. Now, granted, Cr uh, Chrono Trigger and many other uh, Super Nintendo games or uh, PlayStation games have been made by Squaresoft, 
and a lot of them did better than others. Some don't even get past the first game. And I completely get that, that they wouldn't really care too much about discussing that. Because, like, eh, it didn't do that well. We don't want to talk about things that didn't do that well. But Chrono Trigger has stood the test of time to this day. It is a masterpiece. We've seen many ports of this game on very interesting uh, platform choices, to be honest. We've seen it on the Super Nintendo. We've seen it on iOS. We've seen it on PlayStation 1, the Final Fantasy Chronicles. That's, yeah. We've seen it on PC. And if I miss anything, I do apologize. But we haven't seen it on current day consoles. We haven't gotten a re-release of the game. There's absolutely nothing. There's nothing. And guess what? When it released on PC last year, it was a disaster. Because they ported the, the phone version, the iOS version. Not the Super Nintendo or the DS or even the uh, PlayStation 1 version. It was a disaster. How could they treat one of the most beloved RPGs games of this time? Of the past, present, and future. This game will always be talked about. Always be talked about in the gaming uh, universe. It will always stay alive in our hearts. And I don't know if I'm the only one. If this has bothered you people, I want to know. I want to know if this has bothered you. Check out Square Enix's Twitter and you'll find out you'll see nothing in regards about celebrating its anniversary. And you know what? It makes me feel even more sad because when they don't mention the birthday to a celebrated series, when other people have to do it for them, and Chrono Trigger is still, still highly relevant to this day, it worries me. Because that means that Square Enix has no intentions of making a, a remake, God forbid, right? Or the third game in the franchise, a sequel, maybe a, a true sequel to Chrono Trigger or a sequel to Chrono Cross, just something. A cartoon, a movie, anything. Comic book series, I don't give a shit. Something. But there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. And that's just... That hurts. That really hurts me as a gamer because this is a game that I grew up with and the character Frog is my avatar of who I am today, basically. That's who I go to in comparison to any video game character, is Frog. You can see it on my Twitter, my Twitch, my YouTube, my Discord. I'm a frog. <laughs> and it's highly in my designs or other people that have designed I've done designs for me and has been heavily, heavily inspired by Frog himself. So that's how much this game has affected me growing up. And I, I just wish that it would get treated with proper respect. It's unbelievable. I even tweeted out to them showing how upset I am, how upset I was the day of the birthday. I mean, honestly, not even like a collection or a re-release or anything. I would love to play Chrono Trigger on my Switch or on the PlayStation. I would love to do that. And it's ridiculous. I don't want them to tamper with it, of course. I don't want them to hurt this series or franchise, but you're hurting it by showing neglect and inaction to something that has obviously deserved that respect for being such an iconic game, series, and game in itself. Just look up, I mean, come on. You get Nobuo Uematsu. I know he was the second composer for Chrono Trigger. I can't remember the guys. I think his name is Mitsuda, the original composer. But you get Nobuo Uematsu, the guy who does Final Fantasy music. You get Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball franchise, who does the artwork. And then you get the ingenious, ingenious developer, Squaresoft, working on this game. We got this game in Final Fantasy 3 from Squaresoft, like, and, and Secret of Mana, but Secret of Mana is trash, don't even get me started on that. Um, on Super Nintendo, I mean, come on, we were just blown away by the sheer depth that these games have offered, Chrono Trigger especially. Anyway, folks, I could go on forever, but I just want to let you know that we can't forget this game because Square Enix is doing that, and I really hope that we see something from them in regards of celebrating such an iconic series. Chrono Trigger deserves it, and we gamers and fans of the series and game itself deserve to get something out of it. You know, because we've waited a long time and we're still waiting for the next iconic 
uh, installment, next installment or something that's not destroying the series by changing a few things. Not like how they try to do it on PC for Steam, but just something to, sh to be happy about. Anyway, folks, I want to leave you with one last thing. If you haven't played Chrono Trigger, you need to play it. You're missing out. This is one of the games that you need to play before you die. I'm not kidding. This game is phenomenal. I haven't known one person in my entire life that said this game is crap. Not one fucking person. And if you think it's bad, you're the outlier on this one, buddy. Anyway, take care, Pathfinders, and guess what? Doom Eternal comes out next Friday. Rip and tear, raise hell, bye!